starting things off here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a team who hasn't been doing so well lately in tag team action. Ryan Riley and Lance Romance. But while they are out here as a team, only Lance Romance will be in action. Ryan Riley and Lance have uh, been on the losing end quite a few times in tag team action and the tag team rebellion tag team championship tournament they ended up losing their match there and a few other matches along the way so in singles action let's see if Lance Romance can't maybe pick up the win get some momentum going possibly for his team who, who knows now they had a buy in the first round if you want to call it that and the rebellion tag team tournament but in the end it's all down to who won that match and hounds of havoc won that matchup tonight we are seeing our internet champion for the first time i believe since winning that championship at Capital Combat. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is Luke Luger. And there is that internet championship. This match will not be for the title, but can Lance Romance pick up a victory here over the internet champion? That could go a long ways. That could go a long ways for him. Now, the original Outlaws still have to face off against the Hit Squad in uh, La uh, James Lanza and William Parker. After that match, that will be determined who goes on to face the Hounds of Havoc at the pay-per-view at Thin Red Line for the crowning of the first ever Rebellion Tag Team Champions. But that is not going on here tonight. We're starting things off big with the internet champion, Luke Luger. He's taking on Lance Romance. Ryan Riley will be on the outside. Let's see what Lance can do against just this powerhouse that is Luke Luger. I mean, the man is, uh, he, he might be unstoppable. He might be Rebellion's new Siler Jordan in that fact. But let's see what happens here. Let's see how things go in his first matchup since winning the championship and his first singles matchup, I should say, since winning the championship. I believe he had a match, a tag team match. But let's see what happens here, folks. Lance Romance, Luke Luger, let's get the show going. Ref rings that bell. These guys meet up in the center of the ring, and the first thing that happens is Luke's going to bite Lance right on the forehead. My goodness. What kind of man bites another man's forehead right out of the gate. That's like a desperation move, I think, and and Luke used it right away. Big clothesline from Lance, and he is happy about that, taking the internet champion down to the ground. He's gonna pick Luke up. Big shot to the face. Look at this, got him up. Oh, went all the way over. Was not expecting that, that little reverse suplex there. Ryan Riley, happy to see his teammate doing so well right now, cheering him on. Oh, reversal from Luke. They bounce off each other, but Luke grabs him immediately. No, reversal from Lance. He goes for a chop, but Luke's gonna toss him over the top rope. Are we gonna see hot shot? Sends Luke, or excuse me, sends Lance out to the floor. And Luger goes in right after him. Big shot to the stomach though by Lance. Boy, Lance is putting up one hell of a fight. Look at this. Driving the head down of Romance down to the mat out there. Big headbutt, geez. That looked like it caught Lance right across the bridge of the nose. And as much praise as I was giving Lance before, right now Luger is taking it to him. Little alligator roll there and now cranking the neck. We gotta get this match. Back in the ring, and Luke does just that at the count of seven. Quickly going for the pin now. 
and just a one count. If that, Lance kicks out. Luger's gonna pick him up. Nope, big shot to the stomach by Lance. Oh, going for a belly to belly, but an ear clap reverses it. And look at that, Luger gives Ryan Riley the double birds as Lance kind of slides out of the ring there to get away. Lance is catching his breath here and he gets punched out to the outside. My goodness. Luger now all of a sudden in full control, diving off the apron with an elbow and blast Lance Romance right across the chin with that huge elbow. Gonna send Romance back into the ring. Look at this here. Oh my gosh. Twisting neck breaker. That's, that's a drop of about four feet. My gosh. Back into the ring goes Lance and come on, Luke. Not again. Oh, geez. Dropping Lance hard. The ref, well, the count starts over. Right off the ring, ring post there. Luger taking it to Lance right now. He's gonna toss Lance back into the ring. Yes, he does. And again, ref counts to five, but since technically Lance was in the ring, the count starts over. My goodness. Luger is devastating Lance right now with these swinging neck breakers from the apron. Nice reversal there from Lance, though. We gotta get this match back into the ring, guys. And no, Lance is not... Oh, reversal. Face first into the mat goes Lance. The ref is at a count of six here. And he's going to get tossed back into the ring. Good grief. Lance getting just completely decimated out there. Look at Luke Luger rolling through, picking him up and hooking him by the head. And geez, dropping his head right across the knee. Quickly going for the pickup. Into a snack German. Oh, and a bridge. One. Two, he kicked out, but Riley also pulled out the ref. <coughs> Reversal from Lance. Nice clothesline there. The ref is really getting on to Riley out there. He may not be out here much longer. Interesting to see, though, that Lance kicked out. Oh, got a pin here. One, nope. Lance kicked out, but Riley still pulled out the ref, and now look at... Riley pulling the chair into the ring. This might be a huge factor if Lance gets a hold of that chair. But look at that. If I'm not mistaken, as we see the flipping sunset flip power bomb there, Riley was just a limp was just sent out of this ring. Reversal by Lance into a two count reversal back and a kick out. Oh my goodness. Riley was just sent to the back by the referee. Up goes, oh, look at the strength of Lance. Romance, dropping Luger hard onto his back. Even the ref felt that one, it seemed. The ref getting that chair out of the ring. Elbow to the top of the head. Luger now, he's got Lance up, spinning him around. Uh-oh, oh boy. He's locking it in. He's got a chicken wing sleeper locked in. We know Luger's a submission specialist. Is he going to tap? Is Lance going to tap? And he does, ladies and gentlemen. Lance Romance, unable to take any more, is tapped out by Luke Luger. My goodness. What a move that was. Champion getting his hand raised just like that. Lance... Doesn't look too happy about it. He says, hey, brother, I get it. You're just doing your job. Great matchup. He shakes the hand of the internet champion. That's some class here from Lance Romance. Good to see. And our champion, internet champion, I should say, celebrates his victory over Lance Romance.
Well, folks, the internet champion Luke Luger showing you and me and everyone else why he is that internet champion. But coming up next, folks, we have some triple threat ladies action. Our maidens are in competition here tonight. Introducing first, she is the girlfriend of Duke Zenda. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dawn Carr. Dawn hasn't had such the greatest, she hasn't had the greatest go here in SWF. Dawn Carr currently sitting at one and two. She's been a mainstay of SWF, much like Duke. I guess when Duke came in, so did so did Dawn. So Dawn's been around for quite some time. Enjoy having her here. Duke. Duke hasn't been seen in quite some time. I'm sure we can change that soon. Ladies and gentlemen, Dawn Carr in the ring, waiting her two opponents. And her next one, ladies and gentlemen, is a newcomer here in SWF and her first matchup here. Ladies and gentlemen, the pyro goes off and we see the silhouette of Alexis Sky. She is, as I said, making, this is her first match here in SWF, making her debut and it is a triple threat matchup. So she has a pretty decent chance of winning this match here tonight. But we are gonna have to see what's in store for her as she's never seen either of these two ladies in the ring. Who knows, who knows what she's gonna do here. She does the splits into the ring, wow. What an entrance that is by Alexis Sky, ladies and gentlemen. And as she waits, Don Carr has uh, gotten out of the ring, giving room to Alexis Sky, their opponent for this evening. The guitars hit. And ladies and gentlemen, it is Jade Corzo, the sister of Alex Corzo. She has been on quite the run lately as she currently sits at two and three. Her last victory, I believe, was on Showdown. If I'm not mistaken, I could be. Her last matchup, as I hunt through my, my notes here, Jade uh, defeated Beverly Willis in Pasadena in a uh, triple threat match. And so now Jade comes in, trying to get another victory. She is, maybe the triple threat is Jade's thing. She was getting hit with finishers left and right in that matchup. That was way back on Rebellion 8, a couple episodes back, a couple weeks back, I should say. But the fans are ready. Don Carr, Alexis Sky, look at her. She is pumped up and, oh, just nonchalant is Jade Corzo. And the match starts off, and it looks like these ladies going after, oh, going after Don Carr, my goodness. Nice Hurricane Rana there from Alexis Sky. She's gonna drag Jade out. Oh, bending her in half. Dawn takes a step back. But now Alexis, look at this, another Hurricane Rana. And Alexis Sky is cleaning house. She's gonna send Dawn across the ring and Jade sends Alexis across the ring and Dawn hits her with a drop kick. Good Lord. Dawn dropping those elbows down, nice. Jade lays in the center of the ring. Dawn looks, oh, she's going up as Jade and Alexis both make it up to their feet. Okay, Dawn hops down, immediately goes after Alexis. Jade scoots back and lets these two ladies go at it. Oh, dodging the drop kick though is Alexis. Oh, oh my goodness, Dawn. Alexis will look to be going for that Hurricane run again and Dawn reversed it, dropping her down on her face. Oh, shoulder block there by Jade. We've seen a little bigger and more aggressive attitude from Jade, which I think was lacking when she first started here in SWF, but perhaps with Alex winning the uh, contract championship and then their brother showing up. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Alexis going at it here with Dawn. 
But Jade quickly flipping bomb right there with Marco and Alex in now. And now the, the Tijuana family is complete. Maybe we'll see a different side of Jade as she got her first victory a couple weeks ago. Can she get another? We'll have to see. Dawn making it up to her feet. Snap suplex there by Jade. Dawn going right after Jade. DDT, good grief. Dropping Corzo right on her face. Car now going over to Alexis. Nope, going up to the top. Looked like Alexis interrupted that, but Dawn drops Jade with a drop kick. Oh, oh my goodness. Dawn just woman handling Alexis Sky. Face first goes Alexis. Oh, and a kick to the stomach. Good grief. Dawn is in control here. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Nice reversal there from Dawn. She's going to step back into the ring. Oh, what look? Going for like a Pele kick or something. Look at this. A wheelbarrow arm breaker. Or excuse me, wheelbarrow arm drag. And a, oh, a slap to the face by Jade to Dawn. Jawbreaker right into a ru side Russian leg sweep. Good. I guess you could call that teamwork. Oh, look at Jade with the reversals into an arm drag. Nice sequence there. She has got Dawn by the throat. Oh, and a, just slams her down to the mat. Quickly goes for the pin and a one count only. My goodness. Jade, though, quickly picking Dawn up. Up and has her. Pile driver. Driving Dawn's head right into the mat. Going for the pin again as Alexis slides into the ring. And Alexis takes out the ref. That's one way to stop the count. Alexis stops that right hand. But no, Jade goes over the top and a DDT, reverse DDT as the ref kind of gets kicked in the side of the head there. Good grief. Dawn and Alexis on the mat. Oh, the ref almost got elbow dropped and it looks like Jade's got to take a minute to recover from that missed elbow drop. Alexis has Don Carr up. Oh, backstabber, my goodness. But quickly picks up Don and goes for a jawbreaker. I guess a pin at this point wouldn't matter. Look at this. Up. No, Don with the reversal. And Alexis goes right back at her. And big neck breaker. Oh, man. Big neck breaker from Jade as Dawn is in the corner. Jade sets Alexis Sky up in another pile driver. And she goes for the pin. Is Dawn going to be able to come out of the corner to stop it? Is Alexis going to kick out? She does not, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Jade gets another victory in another triple threat. And look at this. Just slamming Dawn Carr down to the mat. Going for the pin, of course we know that was not the end, just a two count. Look at this, first pile driver, ooh, driving Dawn's head right into the mat. A nice reversal there from Alexis Sky, and this is how it ends. Bam, a pile driver to Alexis Sky. We get another angle here. Jade Corzo. Gets the pin off the pile driver and the one, two, three, and the victory. So maybe, maybe Jade's thing, as I said, maybe her thing is triple threat matches. If that is the case, good for her. A win's a win. And it don't matter in what type of match you do that in. So here's your winner, folks, Jade Corzo. As we move on to the next matchup here. Now this matchup was requested by Ryan Adams a couple of weeks ago on episode eight of Showdown. William Parker took on Ryan Adams, but James Lanza was at ringside, his hit squad tag team mate. And James Lanza slid a chair in there. William Parker took advantage. And in the end, William Parker got his first victory here in SWF over Ryan Adams because of that situation. In the end, Ryan Adams requested 
a one-on-two matchup. That's right, Ryan Adams is going to take on the hit squad all by himself for his request. We're going to see how, how this goes down. I understand the frustration from Ryan Adams, but you go into this thing knowing right off the bat that you're at a disadvantage. The odds are stacked against you. But Ryan Adams wants to prove something here, and by God, he's going to do it. So coming down to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, are his opponents. James Lanza on the left, William Parker on the right. It is the hit squad, ladies and gentlemen. And they were more than happy to accept this challenge, if you will, from Ryan Adams. I mean, it's two on one. What, what, what's gonna happen in everybody's mind? I think we all know. But Ryan Adams has to prove it. And Ryan Adams has to step up to the plate now that his challenge has been placed and accepted by the hit squad. Ryan Adams stands on the outside as James Lanza's fired up. This man is ready to go. William Parker pacing back and forth. Folks, let's get into this matchup. While it's not a two-on-one tornado, it is a two-on-one tag, so only one man at a time will be, will be allowed in the ring. The other superstar wants to get into the ring. He will have to tag his partner. And of course we know Ryan Adams is without a partner, but geez, he goes ready off the top. What a diving shoulder block that was from William Parker. Might have knocked himself silly a little bit there. Ryan Adams trying to get to his feet. He doesn't look like he's gonna be able to as William Parker's gonna drag him up to his feet. Shot right to the face, big right hand. Hooking him up, vertical suplex, very nice move from Parker. And oh, look at this. William Parker taking the turnbuckle off. Oh man, he's got him hooked up in a submission move here. And is Ryan Adams gonna tap out this quickly? No, the ref says he is not tapped as Ryan Adams gets out of it. He's gonna quickly pick up Parker and oh, it looked like he might have been ready to throw him into that exposed turnbuckle, but instead he ties him up in the ropes and just starts laying. Oh, laying the forearms to the lower back followed up by a backbreaker, my goodness. Ryan Adams just showing us what he can do in a diving elbow from the second rope. That was a pretty nice move there. Not completely high risk, but just enough height to cause some damage. William Parker, though, is going to send Adams into the corner. And here we go, folks. The first tag of this two-on-one up. Oh, knees right to the chest of Ryan Adams. And... Lanza just talking trash. And Ryan Adams, though, doesn't look like he's going to be having it. Arm breaker. Nice move there. Into a German. And it looks like Ryan is in control here. He's got that dragon sleeper on. William Parker howl howling at his teammate, trying to get him to, to get loose. And he finally does in an STO. Excuse me, running STO from Lanza as he goes to the second rope. Misses the diving body splash. Oh, what a DDT there. Brian Adams gonna pull Lanza up to one knee, dodging the, the chop, but right into the headlock. Oh, Adams looked to be going for a backbreaker, but Lanza reversed it and delivers a back body drop, a hammerlock back body drop. And now, look at this. Got him up. Oh my God. Lanza picks him up in a torture rack style and just drops Adams right onto his face. My goodness. Then the boots. And Lanza seems to have everything under control here. My goodness, the commentator's curse strikes again. Adams, oh, now he, he gets his legs taken out from underneath him. Lanza is going to pick Adams up. And what's he got going here? Oh! Hangs him over the top rope. And Lanza going out 
and missing the slingshot body splash. My goodness. And look at Adams take advantage of it, dropping Lanza right on the right on his knee, dropping the back of the head over it. He's got Lanza up and a backbreaker. I would have taken the opportunity there to knock William Parker off the ring apron. And an insiguri, Parker takes a swing but misses. And he's gonna pick Lanza up here. That turnbuckle up in the top right, or top left corner is still exposed. Sending Lanza into the corner. Oh my God, Lanza catches him and drives him hard down into the mat but only gets a one count. Wow, what a move by Lanza. Into the corner. And oh, nice reversal by Ryan Adams. Into a German suplex right in front of his partner. And a belly to belly, good grief. Ryan Adams is really taking it to Lanza. And smartly keeps him away from his tag team partner. Sends him around here in the corner. Sends him right down to the mat. Second row. Oh! Drop kick right to the side of the head by Ryan Adams. Nice move there. And instead of going for the pin, he, he's got to catch his breath. He hits him with the triangle drop kick and doesn't go for the pin right away and has to catch his breath. He's going to pick. Oh my goodness! Ryan Adams. Blast him with the discus clothesline, going for the pin. This might be it. One, no. William Parker's gonna shut that down in a heartbeat. That's where Ryan's at the disadvantage. He goes for the pin, and the tag team partner can come in. Sending, oh my gosh, he sent James over the top rope, but William Parker is right there. That was not the greatest place to send your opponent over, Ryan. Both men staring. James Lanza is finally making it up to his feet. And William Parker hits Ryan Adams with a backbreaker as he comes off the barricade. Up to four now. Parker, no, he's going to get reversed. And Ryan Adams heads over to James Lanza with a big knee to the face. And Parker's going to send Ryan Adams into the ring. Lanza is dazed and confused out there after that big knee. And Ryan Adams is going to wait patiently as James comes sliding back in. And this, oh. Oh, Parker jumps down so Lanza can put Ryan Adams up on the top rope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, look at this. Oh, my God, what a cutter from that top rope as he jumps down for the pin. No. Ryan Adams not ready to give up yet. He's showing a lot of heart from Ryan Adams as he can as he takes on two guys. The hit squad hollering something back and forth at each other. Maybe Parker was instructing Lanza to work that arm. Good lordy. Really crank the arm of Ryan Adams. Oh boy. James Lanza hooking him up. Oh, hits him with a headshot. And he's going for the pin. He looks to roll him away. Oh. And here we go. And a big shot right to the gut. Doesn't go for the pin after the headshot, which is surprising. Quite surprising to see. Parker is just taunting at the crowd. And, and while that's happening, Ryan Adams blasts James Lanza with an insiguri. He's got him back up, and Lanza shuts it down with a big clothesline. And now he's calling Adams to his feet as Parker watches. And look at this. Lanza, oh, hits him with a kill streak. And that GTS, and he goes down for the pin. Oh my gosh. Just a two count from Ryan Adams. He is fighting with everything he's got. William Parker now comes into the ring. And immediately he's going to send Adams into the turnbuckle. And look at that. Ooh, big German suplex. And he is fired up. He's wanting 
been wanting to get into this matchup. We can see him dancing around and begging over there on the turnbuckle. Ooh, stomp right across the face of Adams. And a big belly to belly. Sends Adams across the ring. He's gonna pull him up by his head. Kick to the gut, look at this. Ooh, Ken shots to right across the face of Ryan Adams. And is Parker gonna go for the pin after that? Probably should have. Ryan Adams kicks him out of the way. Pulls his legs out from underneath him. And a reversal. Oof. Adams hits that exposed turnbuckle. And that, that might be the end. The undoing here. Oh, look at this. Nice reversal from the power. I'm into a DDT. Off the ropes. Oh, it looked like, okay, maybe he was going for an elbow drop of some kind, stomping on the stomach of Parker. He's got William Parker up, sends him into the corner and an elbow to the face. And here it is. Oh, that rolling cutter. And he goes down for the pin. One, two, three, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, the hit squad have defeated Ryan Adams in a requested match. But I will say Ryan Adams had some, some heart in this match. Look at this discus clothesline, good lord. There's a couple of times where I really thought Ryan Adams was gonna get the victory. Take the headshot there from Lanza. Big clothesline shuts down any momentum he had at that moment. And here's Parker, knee to the face before ending the whole thing right here. Rolling cutter and that is how it ends. Right at the end, the hit squad took advantage of the numbers game and got the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ryan Adams. Forget this hit squad fools. Give it up for Ryan Adams for requesting that match and doing such a hell of a good job in it. Unfortunately, your winners, William Parker, James Lanza, and the hit squad. Well, we are about halfway through the show here, folks, and making his Rebellion debut. We saw him get a victory on last week's showdown, but tonight he makes his debut on the big stage here at Rebellion. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Lars Wild. He faced off against Brad Skeens at the last showdown and got that victory over Brad but tonight, Lars has, well, I mean, he's got a veteran here at SWF in his path. A veteran that has been here, I should say. He's a veteran that's been at least around since the season started. But Lars has uh, coming into this match with a victory under his belt. He's got a, a win streak, even though it is only one win. But he's had only one match, and he won, so... Let's see where this takes him. The arena burns red, and Lars makes his way down to the ring. Slowly, I might add. I mean, we've got things to do here, Lars. He finally makes his way into the ring and lets everybody know he's ready. I was going to say, look at his face, but he covered it up. That snarling look of Lars Wild. He's ready to go, folks. His opponent tonight, we saw in the last episode of Rebellion, take the place of Leo McKay in his matchup against Calypso. Ladies and gentlemen, we know who this is. This is Jay Primetime Green. Now, Jay's record so far here in SWF is not the greatest. He's 0-3, I think. Oh, and let me take a look here. Yes, he is, well, 0-4, actually. So, I mean, he had to face off against the Elite Champion last week as Leo McKay was quote-unquote hurt. Um, while we did get some news that he was hurt at Capital Combat, he did not compete at Rebellion 10. And that was, as I said, quote unquote, because he was hurt. 
So he brought out Jay Green and basically was cannon fodder. Jay Green took a beating at the hands of Calypso. So we'll have to see what kind of mental state, what kind of physical state Jay Green is in here tonight. And I think uh, Jay's looking to prove himself who's not at every single match, you know? Who's not out to prove themselves that prove that they can win and they are a winner. But he's on an 0-4 losing streak. Lars Wild is coming off a win from last week's showdown against Brad Skeen. So let's see how this match unfolds right now as Jay Green and Lars Wild. Jay checking his knee pads. Ref, ring that bell. And right off the bat, Jay's gonna come off this, come out of his corner with the Luthez starting off this thing hot. He, he wants to get it under control and oh, just missing the springboard body splash. He wants to come off, come out of the gate, lightning fast, get off to a fast and hard start. And looks like he's doing just that. Hooking Wild up and sends him over in a vertical suplex. Oh, shot right to the side of the face. And again, hooking Lars Wild up and sends him back again with another suplex. And goes right at him. Jay Green not wasting any time. Off the ropes and oh, goes for an insiguri, but Lars reverses it and catches a knee to the side of the face and a backbreaker from Jay. Boy, like I said, Jay really wants to prove himself here tonight. And oh, Oh man, getting out of the belly to belly with a couple of right hands. Oh, spinning back fist from Wild. He's gonna send Jay over the top rope. Oh, nice reversal. Jay dodges it. Oh, comes off the top rope with a huge clothesline. Nice springboard clothesline there. Oh, boy, he is quick. He is lightning fast. And it looks like Jay Oh, ready to end this thing, Trouble in Paradise. He quickly goes for the pin. Is this gonna end this quickly? Two, no. Lars kicks out of it. Holy cow. Jay is fired up. He blasts him with that Samoan Blitz, hits him with the Trouble in Paradise, and just gets a two count. My, my. He's got Lars up over his shoulders. Hangs him over the top rope, oh man. That can't feel good at all. Kicks to the thigh area. Look at this, oh, nice reversal there from Lars. He's got him up and Jay reverses. Delivers a back body drop. Or a back drop, I should say. Goes for the pin, good idea. As I said before, and I'll say it again, you make your opponent and use the energy to kick out. It doesn't matter if you're winning, doesn't matter if you're losing. If you have to make your opponent kick out, then they're using energy. Look at that big double ax handle across the top of the head. Oh, super kick from Jay Green. And a foot DDT. I, don't, I think I'd have gone for the pin after the super kick. But he looks, he looks a little tired. He's gonna catch his breath, but so is Lars. And just like that, a kick to the side of the face could turn this thing around. And Lars Wild calling him up to his feet. Oh boy, no! Jay reverses it, drops Lars onto his back. It looked like we were going for that sit out tombstone that we saw on Brad Skeens last week on Showdown. But Jay Green not having it. Picks him up on his shoulders. Oof. Drops Lars right across his knee. Oh, and another super kick, and Lars is busted open. Quickly going for the pin, though. Two. No. Lars kicks out, and he's got blood running down his face. And again, Jay is having to catch his breath. He's been going pretty hard and fast. Lightning quick, and man, he is just taking control of this matchup as he taunts to the crowd as Lars slowly makes his way up to his feet. 
snap suplex there from Jay. And here we go, we're gonna, it looks like we might see it again. As he gets things in, oh! Big trouble in paradise and he is gonna pull Lars over one, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, Jay Primetime Green gets his first victory here in SWF at the expense of Lars Wilde, a somewhat of a newcomer. Big reversal there from Lars. That could have changed the motion in this thing. And right then, Jay reverses the sit-out tombstone. And gets, oof, right there. Busted him open. And how it ends, second trouble in paradise. As Lars just collapses to the ground. Jay, primetime green, ladies and gentlemen. First victory here in SWF and he is fired up about it, and so am I. Congratulations, Jay. Lars Wild rolls out of the ring, standing by the ref to make sure he is okay. Prime time, ladies and gentlemen. First victory here in SWF, and it was a big one. Congratulations, buddy. Well, folks, Jay Green definitely made a statement there actually picking up his first win here in SWF. But moving right along, we have a guy making his singles debut, I believe. He might have had one other match while he was with Aggression. That is, of course, SDC, his former Aggression partner. Dino D decided to leave SWF. SDC was fine with that, of course. He has quite the singles career in other locations around the community. So we're going to see the new, and I guess you could say improved, I don't know. We're going to see SDC and not a tag team and not having his tag team partner down at the ring with him. I actually think he had one other match where it was a singles match, but Dino D and his opponent's uh, tag team partner were at ringside, but not today. Today, folks, SDC is on his own, and we're going to see if he can induct another member into the Super Kick, Super Kick Club. Excuse me. These fans fired up and excited to see SDC outside of his aggression attire. I mean, when he was with aggression, it was all black. He had like black pants, the uh, black vest, all of that. Now he's kind of gone opposite direction here. He's got red trunks with the red kick pads. Gradient yellow there on the butt area. That is a good looking attire right there. And you never would have known that SDC had all these tattoos. Look at this man, he is tatted up. Well folks, his opponent also coming out in the hood. Ladies and gentlemen, this is of course Eli. Robledo. Now the last time we saw Eli, I believe it was on um, it was on Showdown where Eli defeated Ryu Takeshi. So he's on his way up. Eli right now is two and three. So he's on his way. He's got some momentum behind him. Can he get the victory here over SDC? SDC, as I said, is only, now that I'm looking back, has only had one match as a singles competitor. And Eli has had, that, had a handful, two and three. He's uh, coming off a win streak, or coming off a win. So um, SDC hasn't had a match in ooh, wait, quite some time. If I can go back through my records here. Um, it was while he was still on, or excuse me, while he was still with, aggression so SDC defeated Wayne level but as I said Dino D and vice were at ringside so SDC way back on showdown episode 7 um, in the next showdown it's gonna be episode 10 I believe goodness so he's uh, got about three weeks back he's had his own individual match but Eli was in the previous 
showdown episode last week. And as I said, defeated Ryu Takeshi. So who is going to win? Who's going to come out on top? Both these guys coming off wins. SDC a little, a little later than Eli. And I'm not sure that SDC had a match even as a tag team lately. And these guys showing respect to each other. That's good. I like to see that. I like to see that. But the match starts and SDC is going to hit Eli with a jumping DDT right off the bat. And out of character real quick. I don't know why it does that where when they shake hands, one guy ends up behind the other. I don't know. Who, who knows why that happens? What a kick by SDC right into the back of the head. He is in full control a little bit here. Taking it to Eli. No, reversal. And now reversal again. These guys playing tag here with these reversals. Shot to the back of the head. And Eli finally gets the upper hand in a back body drop. My goodness. Not letting SDC gain his composure in a neck breaker there. That, is a, that was a serious neck breaker there from Eli. Fist drop. We don't see a fist drop anymore. We don't see too many fist drops. Elbows right across the chest area. Good grief. SDC coming up to his feet. Look at this. No reversal. The crowd gearing up for something amazing. And SDC with the reversal and lands a knee right across the chin of Eli Robledo. And no, Eli stops the kick to the gut. Looked like SDC was setting up for something, but Eli blocks it. Has him up. Oh, backbreak. Oh, he's following up. Two more backbreakers. Oh, man. Right to the back of SDC. And now Eli quickly going for the pin. And a kick out at two. Eli grabbing his head. What, what do I have to do? He says, I think I've got it. Calling SDC up to his feet, and no, SDC with a reversal there. Jumping DDT. And now he's in that corner, taunting. The man is taunting while his opponent is down. Got to get the crowd fired up. Oh, went for another bicycle knee, but Eli reversed it that time, shot to the gut. Sends SDC. Over the top rope and back in. No, just a one count. <coughs> Elbows to the top of the head of SDC now. Looked like SDC was kind of in control there, but Eli has got him back, and we see it a second time. Oh, jeez. The Irish curse trifecta right there. And he's going to go for the pin. Yes, he does. Second time those triple backbreakers landed across the spine area of SDC, and I'm surprised he can even kick out after that. Eli now calling SD up to his feet now. SDC reversed it last time and not this time. Eli's got him up. Oof. Drops him hard down on the mat. One, two, and just like that, Eli is riding high on his win streak so far. Two wins in a row on Showdown and now on Rebellion. Nice move there. We see the triple backbreakers. Ugh. Right against the lower back area in the spine area of SDC. Reversal there. Jumping DDT. Okay, these replays are out of control. Here's another set of those lower back backbreakers. And the ref checks on SDC and Eli Ribledo, ladies and gentlemen, is your chick. What am I saying? Is your winner, excuse me, two weeks in a row with a win. Good on him. He's making his way back up the ladder. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Eli Ribledo.
Great job there by Eli, and congratulations to him on his victory. But moving along here, it is the woman challenging Veronica Haas for the Maidens Championship here on Rebellion. It is Jessica Santana. She struts her way down to the ring. Now, in the last episode of Rebellion, Jessica got the victory over Veronica, and she was not happy about it. Veronica was very upset. The ref tried to calm her down, and she ended up popping the ref right in the face. That's right. Veronica Haas has hit the referee. Now, as she is the champion, we do not know, if any, her punishment for that. It is uh, We uh, can't suspend our champion as it's in the championship contract. If you are the champion, you are not able to be suspended. Now, of course, if you cross certain guidelines, you will be suspended. We know that. But for something like laying hands on the referee, she can not be suspended. But she's not here tonight. Big Beverly Willis strutting her way down to the ring to take on the number one contender for that Maidens Championship. Now, what is it going to say if Beverly can sneak out a victory over Jessica Santana? If Beverly Willis wins, who knows where that places her. But she is rough. Look at this gal. She is rough, and she is the smirk. Look at the smirk. Well, folks, number one contender is ready. Beverly Willis also ready let's ring that bell they meet center of the ring and they hook up and beverly weighing a little bit more um has a little bit more strength ref has got to get in there to break them up and a clean break good job on these ladies here but they immediately tie up again and this time beverly gets it oh gosh whips her over jessica's gonna have to get a little uh creative here as this woman, oh, what a snap German suplex. Great move there by the number one contender and a shot to the face of Beverly. And now here we go. Jessica pulling Beverly up to one knee and hooking her. Look at this. Oof. Drops Beverly right on her neck. Yikes. That looked painful. Jessica calling Beverly up to her feet now. As she's on the outside, what are we gonna see? Springboard, oh, into a clothesline. Great move by the number one contender. She continues picking Beverly up. Big shot, form shot, but this time Beverly stops it into the shot into the gut here. Sending her across the ring and, oh, just spikes big Beverly with a Tilt to World DDT, that was a pretty intricate DDT. And now look at Jessica. Oof. Those mounted punches and then a kick to finish it off. Bever okay, I was just about to say, Beverly needs to get the momentum swung in her favor. And it looks like she does with a Michinoku driver. Oh, and a shot to the face. And Jessica right back into it. Beverly's going to send... Jessica, oh my God, what a power slam from Beverly Willis. She's got her up on her shoulders here. Oh, and a kick to the side of the head. The strength of Beverly Willis is like none other here in SWF in our maidens division. She might be, she's kind of a short lady. But she might be one of the stronger women here on the roster. Jessica's got her up vertical suplex drops her down for a neck breaker nice combination Beverly begins to use the ropes but Jessica's not having it she climbed well I say climb she jumps to the top rope here and look how high off the ground she is she squats back down big body oh my god Beverly Willis caught her dear lord hung her over the top rope holy cow what a move that was by Beverly. As I said, one of the stronger women here in SWF. My goodness. Dropping Beverly on the back of her head. Quickly going for the pin. Ref, pay attention. One, no. 
Just a one count here. And now hooking her up and dropping elbows right to the top of the head. Look at this. Nice standing moonsault. One of my more favorite moves. If you can do a backflip from the standing position, that's, that's pretty good in my book. Nice snap German. Beverly with a big shot with her elbow right to the gut and then a Meteora. Holy Toledo. Beverly has got her up right across the knee, sending Jessica high into the air. Oh my goodness, this woman is climbing to the top rope. What are we about to see here? Oh, diving knees right into the midsection. Instead of going for the pin, Beverly picks her up. No, Jessica not having it. Traps, what a suplex. Holy cow. And now Jessica setting her up. Hooks her up. Attitude adjustment from the number one contender. And just like that goes for the pin. The ref slow on the count. Slow on the count. That should have been three, ref. You were not quick enough getting down there. Jessica, though, going back outside. Calling Beverly up to her feet once again. Are we about to see that springboard clothesline? Oh, this time Beverly throws her to the ground and catches her. Is going to send Jessica over the top rope. Look at this. Going to bring her right back in. Yes, she does. And goes out to the center of the ring before dropping her heart across her back. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, this is no good. Jessica hooked up now in an arm bar. And, oh, able to wiggle herself out and a couple of right hands to the face of Beverly Willis. She's got her up. What has she got planned here? Oof. Driving her neck first into that top turnbuckle and quickly goes down for the pin. One, two, and no, a two count. Beverly Willis is able to kick out. And again, Jessica's going to drop those elbows. No. Beverly's wiggling her way out, and she does. Jessica gets to her feet and dodges the low drop kick. Oh, my God. What a kick from Jessica. Completely rendering Beverly almost unconscious, it looks like. Middle rope, and Beverly wakes up for that. Dodges the middle rope body splash. Oof. Big, big spine buster there from Beverly. Kick to the lower back. She's going to quickly bring her up here. Look at this. Backbreaker into a power slam, and that might be it for Jessica. If Beverly can get down and get the pin, she does. One, two. Oh, my God. Beverly kicks out. Look at that. The ref is almost... Is just a hair taller than Beverly when he's on his knee. Look at how proud Beverly is right now. Putting one over on the number one contender. As I said, what does it mean if Beverly can beat the number one contender? Beverly uh, doesn't have, I don't think, the greatest record here in SWF. Look at Jessica. Though. Good grief. Has her up. And again, she's going to hang Beverly now for... Doing it earlier, I guess. Beverly is 0-2 here in SWF. Jessica, on the other hand, is 4-1. So let's see. Even with a win over the Maidens champion, two count there. So let's see if Beverly can get her first victory here in SWF at the expense of the number one contender. Nice snapmare whip right there. Knee to the chest and just delivers a couple more. Ooh. Right into the chest of Beverly Willis. Picking her up to her feet. Shot to the back. Uh-oh. Jessica hooking her up. Oh, torture rack backstabber. That could be it for Beverly Willis, but Jessica doesn't go for the pin. Instead, she... 
relishes the crowd's cheers and jeers. Just calling her up now. We're going to see the second one. Yeah, we do. Attitude adjustment. Jessica gets down, hooks the leg. Two, three, and just like that, Jessica Santana gets the victory over Beverly Willis. Wow. She took a beating from Beverly, and now Jessica's in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's, that's Veronica Haas' music. Jessica gearing up for there she is, oh, and a big clothesline to the face. And that's the old Veronica, what has Jessica done? What a brutal attack by the main cha champion, but speaking of champions, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at our main event this evening at Rebellion. And it is, of course, your elite champion, the heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, it is Calypso. And he has held that championship for quite some time since beating Kid Hades at crowning achievement a few months ago. Again, defending it against Kid Hades and winning. But now he's got Leo McKay to deal with. And I don't know how anybody can deal with Leo McKay. Vice did a pretty well, a uh, pretty good job of, of it before, before losing to Leo at Capital Combat. And it propelled Leo into the championship uh, picture. But now Calypso is getting ready. And actually, I should say this next man's getting ready for Calypso. He's gonna get a shot at the champion. While it's not for the championship, he still gets a shot at the champion. And how many people can say they've done that? Especially as a newcomer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is of course Amari Williams. Now previously we saw Amari challenge and take on Lewis Luger. Again, how many people can say they've done that? Amari put up one hell of a fight. Lewis on the other hand ended up winning that match and not only that, attacked Amari after that match was over and I didn't think it was quite necessary but the Luger brothers are some of the most brutal in SWF and Amari looks pumped he is ready to go folks he's about to face off against the champion in a non-title matchup but this has to make me wonder where's Leo McKay last time Calypso had a match. Leo came out, sat ringside, and cost Calypso the victory in that match. This kid Hades snuck up on him, spun him around, and blasted him right in the face. And Leo McKay thought it was enough, and Leo left. But he brought Jay Green out last week, a little banged up from Capital Combat. So is that why we're not seeing Leo here again tonight? Oh my goodness. The champion is fired up, folks. Taken down by Omari, calls himself the GOAT. And, and right off the bat, Omari dropping elbows on the champion. You hear the crowd counting up to eight now. Nine, and doing a little spinny do. Drops a 10th elbow across the chest of the champ. Oh, dodges it. And now look at this. He's got him up. Oh, my gosh. Turns him completely inside out before dropping him face first on his knee. That's got to really mess with your equilibrium, being twisted all around like that and then getting a knee right across the bridge of your nose. Oh, a second time across the knee. Goodness. Omari really getting his face kind of bashed in here. Calypso looked to go up to the top, but decided better of it. Into the, oh my goodness, what a running knee that was. And again, Calypso's gonna go up top, and Amari a little, oh goodness. Amari a little out of it of sorts, that big knee, but he's with it enough to dodge the shooting star press. Calypso sends him over the top rope, but Amari blocks it. 
Jumping in, and a knee right to the side of the head of the champion. And Mari quickly, quickly jumps to the top rope. Calypso making it to his feet, and Amari with a cross body, my goodness. He is taking it to the champion right now, folks. And commentator's curse is always a reversal, just as I'm starting to praise one superstar over the other. And sitting jawbreaker right across the lower mandible of Omari Williams. He's going to hook him up. Oh, big knee right to the arm there. Spinning neck breaker to Omari. And the champ now going for the pin. No, just a one count. Smart move there by the champ. Try to get Amari to use up as much energy as possible. He's got Amari up. Hanging him over the top rope. My goodness, the champion of Calypso is all in it right now. And look at this. Cosmic Clash right there. We just saw it. And now Calypso going up to the middle rope and taunting as Amari starts using the ropes and a reversal. Oh, raking the eyes, my goodness. And Amari giving the champion a decent fight here tonight. I wonder what this means for Leo. Oh, he pushes Amari out of the way. Goes for a punch and Calypso reverses it into a face buster. And instead of going for the pins, gonna pick him up, send him into the corner, kick to the midsection. Oh boy. Look at Calypso. What's he doing here? He's backing up all the way to the logo. Big drop kick, and Amari has been busted open, folks. He is bleeding from his forehead there. Kick to the chest and goes down for the pin. Calypso, one, two, and a two count. Wow. A lot of heart coming from Amari here. Calypso going outside and a sling board. Body splash, nice move there. And are we, oh man, a second time here. The Cosmic Clash, Calypso very close to hitting that turnbuckle. And look at this, why, why pick him up? Why not go for the pin right away? Oh, shot right to the rib cage area. Nice reversal there from Calypso. And he's got a hold of Amari Williams, gonna bring him out. And a snapmare tosses him down, puts him down onto them. Oh, knees to the chest, oh good lord. The champ raining down knees across the chest of Calypso. Shot to the back and no. Amari's not having any of that. Kick to the midsection though. Look at this, double underhook, oof, right into a gut buster. My goodness, the champion being quite brutal here. Big chop to the chest area. Oof, he slaps him down. Look at this, Calypso. Oh, diving through the, the ropes. Landing a big elbow right or forearm right across the chin, lower face area of, of Amari. Back in the ring, big shot to the lower back. Northern Lights. And now Amari Williams calling him up to his feet. He's got him hooked. Oh man, what a move. The twist of greatness, he calls that. Oh, and instead of going for the pin, he goes right after the champion here. Face first, now the champ busted open. I don't know how much that's gonna affect him being underneath that mask. Nice reversal though. Champ gets out of it here. Forearm to the face. I mean, look, and look at this. Oh! And Calypso, big knee right to the face of Amari. That's a pretty brutal move there, Champ. As he goes up top, we might be seeing the beginning of the end here. And he lands it. That's 6.30 
falling star. And no, Amari is going to kick out of the falling star. My goodness. Calypso just stalking. Going up to the second rope now. Amari dodges it. Amari doing a great job here against the champ. The champ, you got to get some stuff in order, man. Spinning the champion around. He's got him up again. Twist of greatness. And it's, I mean, go for the pin, brother. No, this could be your undoing, my friend. You gotta go for that pin on big moves like that, and he doesn't. That might be that rookie mistake. Fireman's carry reversal by Williams. Calypso reversal there, big shot to the face, and hooking him up in a swinging neck breaker of his own. Goes for the pin, one. Two, and just like that, the elite champion gets a victory over Amari, but he really, really had to work for it. Man, oh man, Amari did a great job, though, against the champ. But in the end, still the champion. As he raises the belt high. Look at this. Look at Leo. Has he ever, was he hurt at all? Was he ever hurt? Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at Leo. Folks, this is how we're going to end Rebellion. Oh, geez, Leo with a big shot across the head of the champ. And he just throws the title down. Thank you all so much for watching Rebellion. Come back soon. We're coming up on Showdown.